I've made a hundred videos on YouTube, both in Russian channel and in English channel. And here is my analytics, my profit, my income, everything you need to know. Let's go. So guys, now let's dive into the YouTube analytics deeply. So here we have my last uh, year. And as you can see, in terms of views, in terms of viewing time, in terms of subscribers, it's all the same graph. We see that there was no growth until uh, probably it was in November when I posted a couple of nice videos about iPhone 12 Pro Max and comparing it to the new camera from uh, Nikon and all that stuff. And you see a great exponential growth for some time. And it goes always like this. It goes low, 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 low. And then it hopa, as we in Russia say, hopa. <laughs> And it says that uh, probably you, you gained a lot of subscribers and then it also goes like this and then skyrockets once again. So it does work as many YouTubers say. Uh, it will be in Russian, but I'm explain you everything. So here we have 21 views, like 30 views, 16, 42 views, etc. And then we get like one and a half thousand views one day. And right now we get over a thousand views every day. So it's like a hundred times more. So 10 views or a thousand views per day. If we go to the subscribers tab, we also get like one subscriber, zero subscribers, minus one, zero. This spike is uh, I was asking my friends to subscribe and uh, that's the only big spike here. But after I've posted a couple of nice videos, it was like 14, 5, 15, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 13, 16. So it keeps growing. And as you can see, it's like the last four to five months of big growth. And in terms of monetization, here I have zero because I wasn't monetized till like three days ago. And for three days, I've earned um, basically eight dollars which is nice <laughs> and as you can see uh, the price for amount of, of views by clicks is ten dollars which is very nice uh, because my russian channel has like uh, three dollars and this one has three times more so in terms of views if we see the most viewing video here is about prores raw it took 22,000 it has right now then the sony a7s3 s lock 3 color grading tutorial video 15,000, then 12,000, 10,000, 6, 5, 5, 3, 2, 2 and a half, 2,000, 1,000, and so on. And some other videos are like 200, 2.200, and so on. So I was getting around from 20 to 100 views of my videos till I was skyrocketing. And now you can see that almost, you know, 10 videos have more than 5,000 views and uh, the others have like around 2,000, 1,000, and it's a pretty good number. I found that one out of 10 videos I post, they kind of mm, uh, over 5,000 views, and some of them are over 10,000 views. So it's a, I don't know, 10%, is it a nice um, number? It's okay, I guess. In terms of viewing time, we have a different thing here. The ProRes Raw is still the most viewed. It has uh, 1.4 thousand hours of viewing time. Then the s 3 video, iPhone 12 Pro Max video, best gimbal for phones, by the way, also. And in terms of the subscribers, it's a different story because now here we can see that the s 3 video gave me 275 subscribers and the ProRes Raw only 177. And other videos are like much less. If we see the income, it's not the best, but the best smartphone gimbal is like two times better than other videos for sure. And in terms of showing the video, ProRes Raw was in the recommended section, so it has the most amount. It's uh, 214,000 uh, you know, show, shows. And the CDR rating, the best video in terms of CDR, click-through rate is the video about the wedding I shot on the Tamron 17 to 28. It has 15.5 CDR rating, which is like through the roof. Also, I can't work. My very first video on the channel is like 12 and half percent CDR. And uh, the best uh, 
CDR rating with a good amount of uh, you know views is for the video about iPhone 12 Pro Max camera review. It has almost 10% of CDR, but the average is around 7.58%, which is nice. So the traffic source, here we have the traffic source and you can see that uh, YouTube search, this is the YouTube search, it shows like 56% of traffic. It means that my videos, more than half of my videos is shown uh, in the YouTube search and uh, that uh, the CEO is working correctly, the tags are correct and the people are clicking in the search to my videos. The recommended section is 21% and uh, it's okay, it's not the best, and uh, not many videos are in the recommended section. It's hard for a small channel to become uh, highly recommended. So here is the number, and the others are just not really relevant. About my viewers all over the world, the first place is the United States, it's 22.7%, and we have 33,000 views from the US. So guys, if you're from US, hey there. Uh, it's, it's very pleasing that you're watching uh, some Russian guys sitting in Moscow and talking about tech, uh, most of the time Japanese, Chinese uh, tech or tech from the US like Apple, Chinese, American, whatever. <laughs> uh, also India, guys, hello, Germany, Great Britain, Canada, Russia, by the way, France, Japan, Italy, Korean Republic, Australia, Thailand, Indonesia, Spain, Netherlands, Malaysia, Poland, Hong Kong, by the way, Turkey, Philippines. Thank you very much for watching and for participating. I really appreciate you. Uh, also, the age is from 25 to 34. I'm 28, it is okay. The gender, 5% of ladies. If you're a lady and you're watching my channel, thank you very much, I appreciate it a lot. But the men, you know, are taking the lead, 95%. Also, the sources for the income so the advertisement and youtube premium it's not very interesting not a lot of data here and now about the subscription rate so 96 almost 97 percent of you guys are not subscribed to my channel and that's a pity i'm very upset about it and only 3.2 percent are subscribed uh, just hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell please guys because it really helps a lot. If you do enjoy the content, just hit the pause, hit the subscribe and like and all that stuff and just, you know, do that, please. And here's an income of my subscribers. As you can see, I gained for one year, I gained 1,535 subscribers and 1,088 unsubscribed from my channel and the total amount is almost 1,347. Not almost, but exactly. And the most part is coming from the viewing page itself. So someone liked the video and subscribed under the video. The next thing is my YouTube channel, 280 subscribers from this and the others are irrelevant. So let's get back to this page. There is something more interesting in here. So what do we have here? The best videos, as you can see right there, it's a it's a nice uh, I guess nice numbers because my best YouTube video in Russian, um, even though the Russian channel has like uh, three point five almost four thousand subscribers, the best video is twelve thousand views, and here I have twenty two thousand, fifteen thousand, almost thirteen thousand. So even though the English channel is smaller, but the amount of views and the overall integration not integration how do you say interaction with the audience is better on the English channel at least, you know, from my point of view. You can see here that I have one point three million of showing to the viewers and 146,000 of views. The average CDR rating is 7.2, which is okay. And 32.7% uh, of my videos were recommended to people. And with the CDR of 7.2, I've got almost 100,000 views through the recommended. And still the YouTube search is right here. It's doing very, very good job. Also here we can see the traffic from out of YouTube, so the Google search, the Facebook and Vkontakte, the Russian Facebook version, uh, are doing pretty nice. 
And also here's the YouTube search, best searchable words, Sennheiser MK600, which is recording me right now, iPhone 12 Pro Max, Mavic 2 Pro, and iPhone 12 Pro Max camera are doing the best. Communication with my audience, the average viewing time is 3.13 seconds. Now, uh, 3 minutes 13 seconds, which is okay. Also, here we can see the best videos in terms of hours of watch time. The ProRes RAW is just destroying it with 1.4 thousand hours of watch time. And I've gained uh, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 uh, of hours of watch time probably in like 10 months. So it's not the fastest growth, but you know, I was able to do this and to monetize my channel anyway so the playlist tech kitchen is the best one we're not on the tech kitchen anymore tech kitchen is i know closed and the, my new youtube studio is here if you want to see the video tour about my new youtube studio you can hit the subscribe and like and notifications bell my comrade so other channels that my viewers watch gerald and dunn I, I saw some comments that uh, some people call me the Gerald and Dunn with a different approach, uh, with my own voice. That's nice to hear. I enjoy his videos. Potato Jet, Matty Hapuya, Matt Johnson, Jared Polin, Armando Ferreira, Peter McKinnon, Brandon Lee, Peter Lindgren, Peter Lindgren, my friend from Sweden. Very nice videos from all of those guys. Manny Ortiz, Chris Brockhurst, uh, Jason Vaughn, Camera Conspiracies, Make Heart Now. They're all great guys and I do enjoy watching those content. Yeah, I mean, the content from them. And it's a, it's a pleasure just to be in the same list, probably. So thank you guys for letting me be in this list. That's awesome. Also, the notifications uh, in terms of my audience, 13% of you are with the notifications, uh, 173 people and 124 people are having all of the notifications. It's 9.2%. It's an average number and I'd like to see a little bit more. So hit the notification bell if you're okay with it. As you can see, 96.2% of you are not subscribed. That's a pretty pity. And um, yeah, that's almost it that I wanted to show you. Let's stop recording right here. And now let's talk about the analytics and, and um, you know, the overwhelming feeling that you have to check the analytics every hour. You do not have to do this because analytics are really, you know, sucking you inside and you can spend hours, you know, researching for different uh, numbers and all that stuff. But I prefer to watch my analytics like once a day or maybe two times a day and then to spend some time on to shooting, editing, you know, script writing, all that uh, more profitable things than simply staring at the numbers. YouTube is not about the numbers. It's about the content, the passion, the creativity and all that stuff. So do not pay too much attention to analytics, but you know, you have to analyze the analytics, such a word of mouth, uh, and you have to you know, be careful not to be sucked into this. And then I'd like to talk about some different things about my working with brands. Uh, I'm a pretty small channel, so it's less than one and a half thousand subscribers, but I've been getting a lot of uh, feedback from different Chinese companies, uh, some American companies to make some reviews about their products. And I always say that I can make a review, but it will be totally independent, only my own thoughts, my own opinion and all this. So my goal is to provide you with the best information. And I say this to the people that send me some products. And, uh, you know, I'm totally honest with you guys and I'm totally fair in terms of my reviews. And if I even get to keep the product, it doesn't affect my opinion in any means. So I've been uh, getting some, you know, pretty nice uh, messages from different manufacturers so I can review their products, even though the products are kind of, you know, not very popular ones for now, but I'm very satisfied uh, that they asked me to do this because I'm a small channel and uh, they think that my opinion matters something, something, that's cool. Also about working with different stores here in Russia. I had uh, 
throughout this year had two stores that work with me they provide me with different equipment and uh, i simply review the units and i leave the links to those shops so they do not pay me they do not tell me what to say i just simply take the units review the units and uh, do my job and return those units to them one store actually presented me those lights you saw the review i guess they called P200 from Luxio company, digital photo company also, you can hear this uh, name and it was very, very nice. But in terms of profit uh, from the Russian channel, from the English channel, from the ad revenue, from oh, everything, from the manufacturers, from brand deals and all this stuff, I gained around maybe $300 this year, maybe $400 this year. So. YouTubers are not the richest people by any means when they are starting out. You have to build your own audience, build your own, you know, amount of numbers of views uh, and all that stuff. So you can live of it, off of it. Yeah, you can live off of it, not straight from the like one year. Maybe it will take two years, maybe three years. Who knows? As Peter Lindgren said, uh, who's uh, in the list of people right near me, you're watching his channel also. He was working in DHL and uh, doing YouTube simultaneously and working as a videographer, doing some client work, doing some, you know, bloggers uh, videos and all that to actually live off of this money. But uh, YouTube uh, and the income from affiliated marketing, from uh, ad revenue and all this, it's just this like sprinkle of uh, taste, uh, tasty, you know, spices to my life. And it's just, you know, a pleasure to get some cash so 4,000 rubles from this company because of the YouTube is much more pleasing than 40,000 rubles for, for you know a regular job for sure so guys yeah that's been it um, this is what I wanted to share with you and if you did enjoy this content my sharing of the YouTube analytics and my small journey of you know one year long on the YouTube please Share your thoughts in the comment section below. What is your journey on YouTube? What is your income on YouTube? And would you like to share your analytics with us, for instance? And if you did enjoy the content on my channel, please smash the like, subscribe, and the you know, notifications bell, finally, uh, to see more of my videos. And thanks so much for watching. I see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.